Hello everybody, Assassinator here with another episode of my Switch Hunting video series. In this video I'm going to be showing you a bunch of games that I picked up for Black Friday at Black Friday deals, which had to have been great deals obviously if I picked them up. There should have been more games, but I haven't received them all, so I'm going to go ahead and go with this so that we can kind of get this video out and it won't be too long. I mean, as it is, this video will be a longer, but I hope you still check it out or maybe you come back and check it out later. So let's go ahead and get into it. The very first one is right here. Zelda Breath of the Wild. This one is the Explorer Edition, which comes with the guide and the map. You can kind of see right there. The back is just uh, pretty generic. The, the same looking if you had a standard version. Now, uh, Zelda, as everyone knows, if you know me, I love Zelda. Zelda is a great franchise. Zelda Breath of the Wild is my favorite Zelda to date. And with them coming out with the DLC uh, in December, it's gonna, it's basically gonna get me right back into Zelda. So if you want to see some gameplay of that, the Assassinator playing that game, then make sure to stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification so you know when I'm streaming these games. Any of these games that I have out here, I plan to play. Now this one I got for forty-seven dollars from Walmart on Black Friday. Um, all these games were Black Friday, so that'll probably be the last time I say that. But I got this thing for forty-seven bucks only place you can find it for 47 everywhere else want an msrp which is 59.99 which is the same msrp of the standard version which is just the cartridge and case so make sure you go to your local uh, stores any of your retailers target best buy toys r us any of those places that you might be able to pick this thing up from and get it right now before they end up selling out i did see a couple copies at best buy locally so make sure to get it before it sells out because it will sell out this holiday season now the second game is a game that I did play. I did do a stream on this game, and I have to say, it has a really good story to it. The only flaw I say is it's not a traditional fighting game. So I couldn't just get right into it. I got annihilated by all the Assassin's Squad members, but it still was fun to play with them. Um, I do enjoy the Dragon Ball series, the cartoon as far as that goes, the anime, as everyone would call it. This game is one to two players, as you can see. Um, yeah, one, it actually says two to six players online. So I, I didn't get a chance to do that yet, but hopefully in the future I will. I plan to practice at this game and see how good it actually is. So it has the 3D areas that you can move around in, and it's pretty hard to comprehend that when you're used to the 2D side-scroller type fighting games, Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, Marvel vs. Capcom, games like that. But overall, it's still really cool. And uh, when I was playing this against the Assassin's Squad members, they were showing me what's up, but they showed the big combos. They showed the big moves, their strategy behind it. It's not a button mashing type game. So overall, really cool. Hopefully you check it out. It, like I said, it does have a really good story to it. Even if you don't like the whole uh, online play, it still has enough content in there as far as the story goes to actually enjoy it. So next up we have Lego, the Ninjago movie video game. Obviously based off of the movie that came out not too long ago. It is one to four players in a tabletop mode and in docked mode. But in handheld mode, it's only one player. Uh, overall, Lego games are always fun to play. I mean, I enjoy those. I'm probably going to play this one with my nephew. My little nephew likes the movie, um, wants to play this game. Actually, had called me up not too long ago and said, Hey, uncle, are you going to get the game so we can play? And so, obviously, I got the game so we can play. So, nephew, if you're watching this, give me a call. You'll have to have your dad bring you down here so we can actually get down on this. So, this game right here is really cool, really fun. Um, it's kind of like a parody to the actual movies. Now, the thing about it is because this is, I guess, the actual Lego game for the Lego movie, it might kind of follow that basis a little bit more. It might not be too much of a parody because, obviously, if you've seen the movie, you know it has humor to it. So, I am going to be checking that one out. I will let you know more about it once I know more about it. But we're going to move on to the next game which is Minecraft Story Mode, The Complete Adventure, Episodes 1 through 8. Now, this is a Tall Tales game. Uh, I've always enjoyed the Tall Tales games. I played uh, Jurassic Park, and I played The Walking Dead. And overall, really good games. We're going to show you the back. I didn't do that right there. Which, it's one player all around. But overall, I like these type of games. Um, if you are into the Minecraft universe, which how many people really are not, especially if you got a Switch, you probably know about it, you've probably played it or have wanted to play it. This is probably a really good uh, game to play, especially because Minecraft doesn't actually offer a story mode. Now what I've seen of this, because I've gotten my son it on uh, the Xbox One, 
it is really cool, really fun. He actually enjoyed it. He went through the the episodes like it was nothing because he just was so addicted to playing it that he just handled it like a boss. But I am going to go ahead and check this out. I might do a stream on it. So if you want to come along and check out that stream, let me know in the comments below so I know to actually stream this and it's not going to be a waste of my time or a waste of the Assassin Squad's time because I hate doing that. But we're moving on to the next game and since I have so many of them, which is right here. Monopoly for the Nintendo Switch. If you've seen a while back, months ago, I had done a video on what I would like to be in uh, this Monopoly game, and they did none of it. Yeah. Disappointing, they did none of it. But I didn't think they were going to do any of it. Check out that video if you want to know what I'm talking about. Like I said, it had a whole lot of views. A lot of people agreed with me. Some people didn't agree with me. But you know what? It's my thoughts, so I felt I'd give them. Now this is one to six players. This is more of a family game. So if you like Monopoly, this is for you, but it's also fast paced. So make sure you're ready to play. Um, don't be one of those people who, you know, you take forever to think about what you're gonna do. I mean, just roll the dice, move and find out if you're gonna buy whatever apartment, house, whatever it is you're gonna actually land on. So with that said, Monopoly, oh, it's a great game. Hopefully by the time I actually play this with some of the Assassin Squad members, Hopefully they've already fixed the bugs. I do know that there was like a really long wait for loading up to 20 minutes. Now I only paid 20 bucks for this one, 15 bucks for uh, the Minecraft, but for 20 bucks, which is half price on this, I really hope it's fixed because if it's not fixed, I might play one match and I'm done with the game. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in a sealed baggie and bam, put it on my shelf. It's done with, knockout like that. Now we're getting close to the end, but I still got Lego Worlds right here. And if you would have saw my uh, top four Black Friday uh, pickups, this one was in it. I only paid $15 for this from Target. Really good right there, one to two players in any mode. I don't know how you could in handheld mode play two players, but hey, you know what? Some people are creative. They probably can pull it off even though I can't. Now this I would go ahead and say is the Lego Minecraft. Um, that's basically the way to describe it is uh, it's Minecraft but with Legos so that's what you build everything out of is Legos really cool concept um, I wish it was bigger as far as uh, more people you could play with online just for the fact of you know uh, Minecraft lets you do that and if you want to have a massive you know cool world you need multiple people helping you build it and that would be really cool but they didn't offer that maybe a Lego Worlds 2 hopefully they will end up putting it out like I said if they do it bigger and better I'm pretty sure people will flock to it but that's it about that game. Don't really, like I said, know a whole lot other than that. It does look fun. It does look like something that I'd like to put some time into. But we'll go ahead and see because I'm not a person that has a whole lot of time. But we're going to move on to the last item that I picked up that has come so far. Like I said, I know I've picked up more. But the last item that has actually came to me. And that would be Rayman Legends Definitive Edition. Now this is the Rayman Legends that was on the Wii U, the PS4 the PS3, the Xbox 360, the Xbox One, all that stuff. The thing about this one though, is they have added modes. Now there's a uh, one through four players because like I said, they got added modes right there. We're gonna turn it this way. That Kung Foot right there is a one through four player game. Gonna show a little bit more pictures right there. It says right there, played local multiplayer with up to four friends. So. That's what I'm looking forward to in this game is the added bonuses. I do own this on another system, but I did not play all the way through. I think I did like the first two worlds or something like that. Not the first two stages, the first two worlds. And I think I stopped after that. So I do plan to get in there and actually play this since it's portable. And that's one of the best things about the, the Switch is its portability, the hybrid nature right there. So you can actually take these games with you and play little bit by little bit when you actually got that time. Because somebody like me who has a lot of work, but I got, you know, an hour lunch, I can go ahead and play some of this while eating my lunch. So that's it. That's pretty much all that I've gotten so far. I will be doing kind of like a part two to this video with the other uh, games that end up coming in. Um, I don't remember how many it is, but once I get those, I will be showing you those in a, another Switch hunting video. So this one is over. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully uh, 
you like the quality of this video. I have been trying to up the quality uh, recently just to make it more appealing to the masses. That's the reason why I play some video footage from each game because I can sit here and I can tell you about the game, but you actually want to see it physically. That kind of helps you decide if you actually want to buy the game. So if you found this video informative in any way or you enjoyed it, make sure to leave the thumbs up. Leave some comments. Did you pick up any of these games for Black Friday? Have you picked up these games previously? Was there any games that weren't worth it for me to pay the price that I did pay even though these were Black Friday deals? Let me know once again in the comments below. And until next time, keep on collecting.